we're starting today with Chuck, who has showed up in my lair with, oh, he brought enough for me, but not the guys. Well, you know, I try, Todd. That's now, all I can do. Now, let me ask you a question. Yes. Where in the country today yes. will you see delightful, wonderful cookies? My God, look at this thing. All on top of Mortal Kombat 2 logic boards. Not only Mortal Kombat 2 logic boards, but dead Mortal Kombat 2 well, logic boards. Well, they're dead boards. or have issues. What, what does that say? What? That what does, does say that dead. Say? It says dead. Now, Zach's filming, and Zach has confirmed it's dead. But Zach said this has yellow color, but bad graphics. That's not good. That's not good at all. No. And he says this one. Yes. I only get so far at points. It says these four chips. Well, actually, there's there's five there, but it said four of them are bad. Maybe one's good. And then it then it resets. It won't even go past that. It's looking like auction material to me. Oh God. However, Chuck was reasonable and selected our coffee from Adrian in Poland. We are having Union Pentium light roasted Indian monsoon Malabar whole bean ground. That's a mouthful. Now somebody sat there and hmm and exactly. I'll tell you what, let's see how it tastes. Ha! Now, let's see what Unipentium tastes like. Here we are. Ah. Thank you, Adrian. That is tasty it is nice. coffee. It's it's definitely light. It, it, it is, but it's, it's very got light. a little smoky flavor to it. It's very nice. What we'll add, now Stephen was out, it's just Stephen here. Stephen, you are now welcome to partake to have one. Affair. Well, you can have two. You can only have one. I didn't have one yet. He's, he's gonna you shouldn't have, have any. I think this is a single serving, is what he said. Well, they're doubles. They're smashed together. It's about to be smashed. Steven, you have to take one. What's in the middle? Cherry. Oh, no, uh, you know I ripped one. off the lid. Shocked. Cherry. You got a black and white. God, I love it. Delicious, my kiss. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Um, Chuck has not had one yet. Oh, all right. I'll do, I'll be adventuresome, and I'll do the strawberry lemonade. That's what that is. Okay. That's what it is. I foolishly ripped off the... We never do anything foolish. I'm not that I'm foolish. Now, Zach, what one are you going to get, young man? Oh, well, we have the, the black and white. Bring the camera in and show me. Oh, well, we have the black and white. All right, all right, take your fingers and grab it. There we are. You gotta learn how to grab when you work at TNT. You don't grab, you don't eat. Now, he came here to pick up one of his winnings. Oh, I wouldn't call him winning stuff. One of his winnings. Star Tech Journal. These were these wonderful do-it-yourself repair guides. The industry had the only support for games you bought. So this one fella started collecting things like strobe light hookup for Williams Flash, the Bally display tester blanking modification. So uh, Williams score guard special adjustments. Ooh. Exidy Bandito, remember that game? Wow, yes I did. Modification. A fire and motion assembly modification field replacement kit has been produced by Exidy. It fixes your fire and motion. Who doesn't want their fire and motion fixed? It says the kit consists of a new camshaft and a new cam arm, both of which are inserted in place of the old cam. Oh, that's the joystick, obviously. He's going to get this. Important information. It is. Absolutely. 
Well, they're good. The Star Trek journals are great to read on the toilet the first time. The first time on the toilet or the first time you read them? <laughs> Inquiring minds want to know. You've been watching it, and it's done with a full color display. It's our first one with a full color display. And it came out very nice. Super bright. You know what it's missing is my sticker. It's missing my sticker, Stephen. You didn't put my sticker on it. Why would I? It's a stick. It's a sticker of quality. Only the best for me. What for Mama? Let's see what do we get. I always thought that was such a nice touch, having we'll the, little, the, the little uh, slot arm on the side. And here comes the strip. Nice. Point is eight. Mr. Bowl is locked. Ball up. Let's spin the slot again. This one's for Texas. S, S. I'm in the money. Well, a little bit. Not much. Better than nothing now. But there's ball two. Ball one. Now look, see there's four balls here. The question is, is it three ball or four ball? Now it's three ball. There it goes. One in reserve. No, Not bad, huh? Now remember, this is the middle shot now. There's another. There's another one right there. Another set of optics. So it's halfway up, see? So get your hands cut, see? You get credit each time. Your jackpot shots. Well, there you go. Look what's really neat. The game is so nice. It still has the original stickers on it that are nice and clean. We've lit the sides, too. And here. So we've taken this one more step further, haven't we? Wrap it up. To meet the master. Can I film you? Yeah, I mean, you're the main attraction. Can I give you a hug? Yeah. You, you, bring, you bring somebody laugh. You bring somebody laugh to us. I do laugh. Yeah. Do you see, he wanted a hug. Lorenzo. 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 And then, and look, that's Mark Shallow. That's, That's Mark Cello, and he's brought me. So I don't, you know two what? Two of you, or actually the four of you, Notting Hill, yeah, it's Fireball this. Cinnamon, and then of course Mr. Crunch Party, Father's Day Blend. Ah, yeah. and that's going to be me tomorrow. I'm Father. Uh huh. So are you? That's right. Yeah. yeah. So this is, this is Lorenzo. Lorenzo. Yeah. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, good morning. Good videos. Yeah. And this Marcello. is Marcello. We're Italian. A R C E L L O. Yes. C E L L O. Good. That way I can put their name up on the screen. Oh, that'd be so nice. And so you are? I'm Carrie. My lovely wife, Carrie. Carrie. Yes. Now, does Carrie watch me? I do. She does. Actually, she's. we watch you often together. Whenever he's got it on, I watch. If you want to laugh, that's what In we do. In the course of the videos, <laughs> yeah. do, have you ever watched me do this, for instance? Oh, many times. <laughs> <laughs> or have you ever watched me do this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, many times. Oh, very good. good. Hey, is it possible we could pick one of these and have you sign and buy it? Uh, I have What's unframed the ones. The framed ones I'll I can't I'll take an unframed. But we have a bunch of unframed ones. I'm trying to think. Now you were upstairs. Jillian's filming. You were upstairs. Did you notice any? Uh, there's a lot of everything up there. Yeah. <laughs> no, what what interests you? We can figure that out. Sign. Oh, he can sign, oh, he can sign anything. He's he, he loves signing sign his name, I could except do a on poster. checks. I could do a poster. Posters good? Yeah. I could do a poster. Well, you do. He has the posters. Um, they're in the office. They're in the I office. We'll grab one. Hey, let's sign a poster. Okay. Yeah. Good. Now, what do you recommend? Gino's for cheesesteaks, or what? Do you, what would you say? 
Well, where are you headed to? See, well, we were going to go home, but we figured we'd stop and get dinner out here and we're make it all along. Are you trip. going back to, to no, the Ocean other arcade? No. We're done with Ocean City we're and we're going to head back to Ohio. Okay, but you're going up the turnpike, right? Mm hmm. Now, 20 minutes from the two, Route 222, uh, it's, the, it's the exit for York. I mean, you're going to go. You would hit it in about an hour and ten minutes. Okay. Twenty minutes is effort, and that's the games in. It's got like hundred and ten games. We were gonna do that maybe next year. To be okay. honest, we we wanted to make you for this one the central attraction. <laughs> this on the way home. Yeah. Now I do have cards. We'll also do cards. So something I hang up. Well, yeah, but you have to have a trading card. Right? A trader's, trader's card is the case. Trader's card. <laughs> C E L L O. Yeah, and I see that you uh, thumbed up our anniversary. Yes. Yes. I you saw know that. we're in the black or the red one today instead of the <laughs> black. I did. I see. I try to get on the Facebook. It's really tough. Yeah, I did. Right. I have, I guess, almost five thousand Facebook friends, but I still manage to wish everybody a happy birthday. Oh, thank you. It's tough because there's a lot, and you have to hand type them. There's no yeah, bulk no, no. happy it's not, it's birthday. Like, yeah, in, in the in link where you get this clicked up. But what, what made it really neat is that somebody was commenting, they were, you know, commenting about how horrible I am or something, and the one guy said, I don't know, but every year he manages to wish me happy birthday. And he says, my family doesn't. And uh, so I said, well, wow, he noticed. And some people don't, don't notice. His pen doesn't like my clock. This was actually Gottlieb's, one of Gottlieb's first clothes acquisition. Brand new, 1100 bucks. $1,100. I bought, I think, three of them. Wow. And we, we're selling them that for like $2,400 or yeah. something. Brand new. Oh, clean up, yep. Yeah. Oh, brand new. Yeah, right. But yeah, this was one of the first ones that closed wow. down. Oh, it's just, uh, you can see the places. Actually, the only game not sold is this Night Rider. I got it in, but we had to rob the board out to get them out of Harry. It's the, uh, what is it? It's smoking the bandit, is it? Or, uh, no, it's just a 70s takeoff. Yeah, 70s though? No. 77. It's, it's actually a lousy game. Yeah. It does, like, two things. Think, yeah. And then this lethal weapon, lethal enforcement, we got that all finished. Yeah. That was paid for Christmas a year ago. Wow. And it was yeah. paid And we've been waiting and waiting. And finally I said, I had to rob the chassis out to fix the other game. <laughs> I said, well, I said, I haven't heard a word from them. We're coming. We're coming. I said, yeah, when? when? Star Wars is all fixed up and sold, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Star Wars. I, he was supposed to pick it up today. This chassis is a mess. Mm -hmm. it, 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 see, that's not really fair. He just wanted you to just to get it. It's a great chassis, yeah. but the board was so dirty, so we take the board out and wash it in the sink. Yeah. So you wash all this with uh, simple green, pure yeah. simple mm -hmm. green, and you can make it look like new, and then you use the fan to dry it. I've seen you do that. So now and everything's nice. <laughs> we changed a whole bunch of parts in it. Um, so it's almost, it's pretty much done, but he couldn't get a truck this weekend. Like we need more games in here. We need more air conditioning in here. One spring break out of two. Okay, that's neat. Uh, it's too bad, but I can't make two. I'm not missing too many parts. Are they going for a lot? No. Ooh, that's like three grand. Okay. Nothing's cheap anymore. No, it's, it's not. Plus so much. Uh, if I could pay these guys less, it would work out. Everybody got a raise, actually. Oh, yeah. We haven't had a raise in five years, so everybody got a raise. Enough for McDonald's in a while. <laughs> but uh, a work in progress. Yeah. This one's unique. This is probably the only Judge Dredd that I sold. Is the sticker still on it? The bow tie? What year was it? Jason? I'm curious. I sold this to a family. I'm going to say in 90, what year? So this is 2000, 2020? Yeah. It's got a 20 year sticker on it. 
So, uh, and look at the cabinet, it's beautiful. Yes. This thing's beautiful. And it's not been serviced by you since then, or? No, no, we had wow. it in this house the whole time. So what we're gonna do, beautiful. Uh, uh, it's, it was never taken apart. Mm -hmm. you know, you, back then when we were selling, it was like new. So he played it for you know, all, all those years, and, and the motor went bad. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. Marco Specialties sells a beefed up motor. So, so, this is a special motor. These gears are double the size that are on the old one. So this part turns <laughs> one direction, and this part turns the other. So consequently, when this spins, the outside spins one way, and the inside spins oh, another. It's really, oh, it's yeah. really neat yes. up it. But then so is this $400 motor. Wow. Huh. But thank goodness Marco makes these. Yes. Because if they didn't make them, there'd be an awful lot of those reds. Rebuild work. <laughs> oh man. So, this is a wonderful little piece. This is the this is of course the high point. And the arm picks the balls up. Mm-hmm. So uh so the magnet. Yes, with the magnet. Of course, it's ugly this way. So, did you see how it dipped? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it would dip yeah. down and pick the uh -huh. The ball is the spins and dump it over here. Uh, I, see. I, think, I think there's a ramp there, I don't remember. And, you know, people tell me, oh, what about this and that? And I think I remember yeah, all these top, parts. Yeah. Not, uh, and I said, I can't remember most of this right. stuff. Well, this, this, this is the adjustment key. Uh, I see. Okay. Uh, there, this stuff was so innovative. And it's for pinball, for goodness sakes. That's what's so neat about it. They spent all this engineering on a pinball machine, and nobody could care less back then. They got played. Nobody appreciated all the wonder. wonder so stuff what was they, this? 91? Ninety one. Ninety four. Ninety four. Ninety four. Ninety three. Are uh, they uh, actually so did okay? Four. Remember yeah. you said you want to see more of his movies? Judge Dredd, you would like. It, it, it is good now, but listen, what they did—they didn't license the movie. Mm -hmm. So yes. you'll notice that's not Stallone. Uh -huh. It's the cartoon. So they, the voice sounds like him, but. Uh, what does the licensing say? Judge Dredd? Uh, it wasn't licensed through the movie. Though. No, it's not. It's through Peter yeah. Peterson Ford. Yeah, so I guess that's where you save some money. And uh, you don't have to pay yep. some money. Yeah. It does sound like Sylvester, doesn't it? <laughs> it does. I gotta look here. I gotta figure out where I can cheapen this, like my competitors would do. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Take out like you know what? We'll we'll sell it to them, and we'll leave the flippers out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll let them just stare at it. Play. I, we could save thirty cents by pulling the rubber. Well, that's too much work to take them off. These are the Cliffies. Uh, Cliffy makes these. Once you put these on, you never have to play, replace them in your lifetime. Now, possibly. When these boys are in their yeah. 70s, yeah. they'll have to put a new one on. But I'm afraid I won't be here, and neither will Cliffy. Yeah. Well, <laughs> Cliff, he does that? Cliffy, Dave, yeah, yeah the, uh, nice. Cliff. His nice. name is Cliff. Cliff, yeah. Cliff Renair, who um, I keep calling him a different name, but Cliff is the genius behind them. And uh, everybody contributes. Wow. Nice work. To keep, the in nice. to keep the industry alive. Yeah. So how many we keeping we it alive? Time. How many more years? Uh, my wife says she wants me to retire uh, uh, August 1st, uh, 2050. So <laughs> that gives me 29 more years. <laughs> she never said it, but I'm 29. <laughs> but she said once I retire, then we'll plan all the trips. Yes. Yes. I want to do <laughs> mountain climbing. <laughs> I want to jump out of airplanes. <laughs> I did. I jumped out of an airplane. Did you see that video right here? You can watch me jump. I did. I didn't scream either. No. But I tell you, when I jumped, when I got out of the plane, the plane immediately you know, went like 20 feet higher once it got my size off the... Just, just <laughs> Does anyone else notice that this place always smells like pizza? If I can't say it, you're gonna blurt it out if I scream bullshit right now. <laughs> I can't have that children are watching. 
Get your use of the words around. It's getting deep around here, Todd. I didn't bring boots this week. Uh, children. You know what? Maybe I'll give these out as presents. <laughs> I'll give, I'll give it, well, you know how you buy presents for your wife, but you give them something you want. Yeah. Right. Okay. What am I going to do with this? And I said, well, I'll, if you don't want it, I'll take it. <laughs> it's dual gears. Should we throw them out? Yeah. Oh, you've been very... It's awesome. time for them to go to... So much, Pete, they're going to go to Maggio's well, right there. Yeah. We're going to have a good, a wonderful cheesesteak there. An authentic Philly cheesesteak because he I'm grew up. To it. Well, grew up you when we grew up in high school, um, we had a cheesesteak place right there, so he understood the cheesesteaks. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Honey, are you screwing up again? I hope so. That light is out over there too. I have to figure out. Ooh. Yes. I heard it pop on. This, look at this asteroid. Now, we still have to put the blue team mode on it. Come up here. Um, guy sent this thing in. Now, we only have the asteroid board in it. We have the uh, deluxe board coming. Oh, oh you did wonderful. <sighs> it was an explosion. We have to work on the sand. We're not getting... Had to work on, pop to it. Yeah, we had to fix the sound. There's a pop. I did hear the pop. <coughs> There's definitely a pop. This, so, th th this. Now look, see, this is in the process. This is in the process of becoming a multi-cage space invaders. This one's finally done. But what we're filming is this. Oh, yeah. Shipping this. This is a multi king Defender Stargate that we made for this man. And it is very nice. We've added the smart bomb button. It's an original Defender cabinet. This is the newer vintage because it's got the black coin door on it. But he'll be able to select which game he wants to play. So he can either play Stargate or the Defender. People like it when I say the Defender. The defenders beat lots of enemy ships. Well, actually, here's how the song. The defenders sees lots of alien ships. The defenders sees lots of radar blips. Every blip is a ship. And it's up to Defender to save them. Defender, a great Atari game. Atari? Back here. There's nothing in the box. Actually, what we've done, we've made it just like factory. The the new boards you have to run a ground strap with brand new braided grounds, grounding everything in the machine, so the game doesn't reset. Because these newer boards are notorious for resetting. This is the button you push to pop out the monitor if you have to change it. New power supply. Uh, we also put in um, a line filter. That's behind there. Fuses to fuse the coin lights in the front so it doesn't blow anything up. <coughs> Yellow T molding. It's 50 pounds lighter and so is this face. This is 50 pounds. Should we can put a flat screen in you. Yeah. That would make me great. We have turned on all seven games turned on that will work with a left and right and a fire button. Super Breakout, Arkanoid, Moon Crested, King and Balloon, which is like Space Invaders, but a lot more stuff to do. The original Galaga, Galaxian, and uh, Space Invaders. But it's an original Galaxian cabinet that we have completely restored. Oh, I want to peel this off, the quarter's on that'll reveal that beautiful Midway logo on the front. It could be on quarters, but it's not. New artwork, new control panel overlay, new side art, new kick plate art. But back here, it's barren. Now there's our uh, test switch. You'll notice the ground wires are everywhere. 
Everything is plugged, labeled, socketed, fused. Easy repair. Nice and neat. It's not a mouse. Looks like a mouse nest with wires everywhere. Would we do that? Wait a minute. He's getting one more game. Star War. Let me show it to you. And lastly, we just prepped your game, your Star War. So it's all ready. When you get it, you just peel off the screen, this, the cover that covers that. Got the casters on the legs. You're pretty much ready to go. You'll slide the glass off after you unclamp these clamps here. You slide the glass off so you can drop the balls in. You don't have to take it all the way off. You'll put it all back together and you'll plug this in for your start. And uh, here's the manual. And the balls are in here. And uh, you're ready to go. Three great games. Now this is an example of a game that we installed the multi-case system in. It was an original black and white space invaders, but we, using the original control panels, we added a four-way joystick, a leaf switch, and the two action buttons. It wasn't a total restoration, but um, we put, he decided he wanted to go with brand new glass on the top which we did, and we also added um, a, a Miss Pac-Man underlay. Since so far there's no underlays available, as far as I know, I'm going to play Xevious because that's a two-player. And this is both buttons. So now, you'll be able to play two different games. Or two different... <laughs> Two different players, but 60 different games. That's what I meant to say. It also makes the game a good 50 pounds lighter because you no longer need the big transformers in the bottom. So if that crashes, then it moves over to this side. So this is a great alternative because everything is inside is brand new. We're using a Dell monitor, which is used, but we still have a deal. If the monitor fails, we have a $50 exchange. So, great deal all around. I think this guy's going to be very happy. We did some touch-up on the black, uh, but uh, I think it's worth the price. We could do it with your cocktail, too. Well, we Double trouble yeah. today. Yeah. The bargain basement baby Pac-Man uh, is gone. And you're going to make a meme out of it? Yes. So he's going to make a... Uh, uh, and he, plus he got a working 13-inch monitor, which is worth 150 So that alone is worth it. So we got a real arcade monitor. And then Tony's picked up his Star Wars. And, uh, I'm back again. Nice game. And up. Uh, Pinball. What was it? Raven. 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 And a Gorgar. The Raven. And the Gorgar. And somebody else is coming to get the Shrek. So he's going to be able to see him in a minute. <laughs> he's, he's on his way. He's coming back. For more abuse, I'll give him a, a drink on the way home. Okay. Chris, here it is. Your golden tea. It's an original Incredible Technologies cabinet where this lights up too. Brand new marquee on the top. This is actually our first flat screen conversion. We took out the tube, made it 85 pounds lighter. We got rid of that monstrous tube, put in a 27 inch LCD. Okay, brand new green T molding. Originally had white and then black, so we put green on the whole thing. We have our turn buttons to access the cabinets here. You don't really have to go in there, but we did put LEDs in to light up the cooling slots. Now, this panel here slides out like so and swings up, see? 
we've upgraded it to a new flash card so the old hard drive was here so this loads a lot faster a lot faster and that's all there is to it not much to it other than that okay now the panel does swing open and you can latch this so both inside and this can be latched uh, we think it's great if you keep it free so you'll be able to move it easily uh, or access if you have to get to the buttons or something. You don't really have to have a lock here. Um, it also has wheels in the back too. So. And the last thing he's going to do is put some wire ties in. Make sure it's all cleaned up. And that's it, Chris. Got two great pieces coming your way. Family's going to be very happy. One really came out nice. Went all out, didn't we, Kurt? Not him, me. I came out nice. It's not like I'm working right here. What? You're right in the way. Get some of Please. <laughs> it's a Okay, you can't work here. You can't work here. No. Oh. can't find anything. No. Oh. This is going. Going tomorrow. Is he going to come in and play it? Yes, he's coming in. Yes. You That's can't wait. He's really looking forward to this. Uh, look, doesn't Shrek look good? Lit green. I thought so. Uh, we also, of course, the bottom here is purple. Green buttons to go with Shrek. And the, the, there's only 500 of these out there. We sold this brand new to this guy, okay? In his house, the entire, it's all life. And, uh, he was uh, just him and his wife in the house, so it had like zero play. And boy, does it look it. It's a beautiful piece. A collectible forevermore. Forevermore. And he'll be able to gauge his shot, too, when he shoots the ball. You've seen the game play, so. You know what? How about if we cut to the guy picking it up? Like this. Wait a minute, what happened? How did the play field get out of the machine? He's just, just been, <laughs> the boys he's, have been showing him. And this is Dad. He's the one that convinced him to buy this. Thing. That's right. He did. That's right. He said, buy it. I'm, I'm waiting for my right right Oh, you're standing Absolutely. here. And you're part of the fun. And who's this? Don't you want to be in the film, too? No, I don't have to be. Well, you, you, it's too late. <laughs> too late. That's all right. That's okay. <laughs> <clears throat> They're just going over everything. When yeah, you I'm get lost. a Kurt, please. Kurt, did you didn't you deliver this? We sold this brand new. This is John Martin's. No, that was Jason. Okay. Steven. Yeah, we sold this brand new. Uh, back in two thousand seven. Husband and wife. Never had any kids. Like nobody ever played it. And this is the last one now, right? Might be his last game. <clears throat> No, the last game we got from him. Yeah. He has just oh, the uh, has, uh, Jersey Jack Jersey games Jack. left. Yes. He kept all the, he bought all the Jersey Jacks, and he doesn't want to sell them. So, but I think this is the last one. And you're getting it, baby. Isn't it, nice, isn't it nice when the labels are still new? Balls are still on. Oh, okay. And look, it's still stapled. And I think, Kurt, you did you show him this, too? It still has the paperwork from when it was new. So, it's always a joy. I'm, I'm keeping all that. Uh, no, I think uh, I think you said that conveys with the game. Uh, can we discuss that already, Tom? It's a beauty. Great right. copies. Yeah. And, and our favorite board system. Never goes bad. Pretty reliable. Yep, never goes bad. Should've kept it that way. Well, no, the new one has a lot more options and in fairness the new system's running great so, the spike system so in, in fairness but not bad and soon you will be playing at your house can't wait to do it good well i'm exhausted from packing this <laughs> and curdy did too curdy and he yes i did a little bit of work Look! Do you know what 
adhesives. This is what we're sending out to the winners and participants in Tammy's Atlantis is Waiting telecast. Tammy's filming too. And as a matter of fact, it's right up here. It's five hours long. But the first three hours is great because they interview people you've never heard of that made that movie. Atlantis, The Lost Continent, the Disney cartoon, 20 year anniversary. And all these people are going to get wonderful things, including the grand prize. It's going to California and it's a heavy one. That was the winner of the trivia. Tammy came up with 10 trivia questions. The first two or three were simple. An imbecile could guess them, but boy, the others weren't. But it was a great contest. We're very proud of Tammy, and Tammy is going to be having her Tierra Talk Show anniversary, 10-year mm -hmm. anniversary, and that is right here. August 1st. That's right. That's, that's going to be how many hours, Tammy? 10. 10-hour ten marathon. <laughs> I don't think I'll be there the whole 10. <laughs> Daddy's going to be buried here under games. But boy, this took a while to print all the labels. Everything's going out prior to mail. Thanks, Dad, for your help. Yeah, it took hours. I'll bill you later. <laughs> well, Wink has returned, haven't you, Wink? Yes, sir. And you've brought my Avengers, my premiums. Yes, sir. And of course, the famous Elvira. And hundreds of other games, right? Yes, sir. Uh-oh. Is Kurt here? Where are the premiums? Where? Phil bought us lunch, didn't he? Thank you for lunch. Did you finish already? I have one little piece of that. You did? Well, what about Franklin? Franklin, did you enjoy Mr. Lunch? Stuffed. You're stuffed. Well. Oh. Why did you think I was going to say something rude? Now look, Stephen was happy with his luncheon, and so was this boy over here. Yeah. You're very happy. Thank you, Phil. You know what? I have to show you, Scotty. Thanks, Phil. Scotty's happy. Now, Kurt and my beautiful wife and Paulie aren't here yet. So I'll, well, I'll show you them now. My beautiful wife, did you like your lunch? It was wonderful. Thank you, Phil. You were awesome. Isn't he great? Thank you, everybody else, too, who helps us and sells things and buys things for us and everything and, else. And you know. Is that what you want me to do? No, that, it's my girl wants to party all the time. My right? girl wants to party all the time. What's this? What's this? You have a hole in your shirt, Todd. Jesus. Jesus. Give me, go, a give me a shirt. Oh my gosh, I have a hole here too. Look, I don't lift your arm up because you have a hole there too. Are you filming this? I hope not. Yeah. You're supposed to dance. Good. That's all right. What the heck is a doodle bug, Bruce? This is Bruce, and we had a doodle bug that wasn't doodling. Now, this is so neat because I've never seen a doodle bug before. The, le the second time they used this mechanism, I I'm pretty sure it was Fireball 2, which was an 81. But this doodle bug is really neat. Bruce is loading a computer. Bruce has informed me too. This is an Attaball, but... Well, right now it's set up for replay. It's set up for replay. Yes. So you could convert this so it's replay too, in addition to Attaball. So you could, it, will it add balls or just play three? No, it'll add balls. It's you know, like the you know, it's true Attaball game. Wow. Now what makes this And you game, can change how many balls it will add. Now we got this in trade, and what we did is uh, the man that's purchasing... You leaned on it. I did lean on it. I leaned on it too hard. Um, slowly. I, I, 
you, the tilt is too, the tilt's too close. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to the game. I won't lean on it. We should redo the tilt. But what makes this game neat, watch. You go in the hole, it advances your target here. Nothing has happened yet, has it? But look what happens when Bruce cleverly. Watch, I probably won't hit it. Only one thing activates the doodle bug, the center target. You see how the doodle bug is Almost. pointing right there? Oh God, you didn't hit it. Yeah, there, there we go. There, no. Oh, 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 oh. He's getting 10 points. And a magnet is making the doodle bug doodle. All electronic. Actually, all electromechanical. What turns off the doodle is if you go down, which of course is inevitable. But look, there's a zillion other places that'll take it down. Um, these will turn, put the post down, but this stops the doodle bug. This start, stops it. This, this switch here, and that switch, and that. So there's a lot of places to stop Mr. Bug, isn't there? Mm -hmm. But only one place to start it. Now, when you open the gate, what triggers the gate opening? You Somehow, know? when this lights up, that opens the gate. Got it. Okay. Let's see. Working. Hmm. See, this one on the yellow bumpers, that's these two. 500 points, 500 points. On the green bumpers, that's these two. And I wonder how you turn that one on. What's the, what's the red light one? Oh, that's 5,000. Yeah. Hmm. Well, shoot the ball up again. Now, we did put rubbers on this. The rubbers had fallen, literally fallen apart. I don't know what was that. We changed a lot of bulbs. There's probably bulbs out. So, the, the, whoever gets this, I'm making this video actually for somebody who's interested. They will have to do oh. some doodling of their own. So to do this up. Now the cabinet's in pretty good condition. Back glass has the usual flake that any doodly bug would have. It's not too bad considering its age. I think I think Bruce would need to activate the doodle bug again for goodness sake. Now uh, oh this stops it. Mm-hmm. So that stops it. And there's another open gate here. Now see the see the bump is up. Yep. Look. And then this will drop the down post. What well, should? Maybe no. not. The, the, oh, it's this. The kicker. It's the kicker. Okay. So that puts it up, and it's the kicker. It's not the. Air. Okay. Uh, you had to show me. See, Bruce loves mechanicals. No, I. <laughs> I leaned on it again. That's the downside of a mechanical. It tilts the whole game out. It doesn't like me, Bruce. Actually, some don't, but most of them do. Not like me. Come on. I think I wiggled it too far. Now here's something really neat too. While Bruce plays Doodler, look what it came with. The catalog supplement. Look, the original printed material checkoff list. Instruction. Oh, manual, schematic, scorecard, game warranty card, a warranty, Bruce. Oh. The dampener for pendulum tilt. Six plays per coin, schematic. Germany, Japan, Australia, and Finland, but nothing's checked off, so that must be for another country. And finally, display window assembly or something. So it does have a manual. Oh, Bruce, it's got the big schematics. But you want to know what's in the mechanical pinball? Here's what's in the mechanical pinball. See? Mm -hmm. <laughs> that. All these switches. Now, if the switch over here doesn't work, the game doesn't work. The switch over here doesn't work, the game doesn't work. This is why we don't sell mechanicals. But, there's a lot of people that love these things, Bruce. And this doodle bug is doodling. And you know what else it comes with? <clears throat> this nifty instructional manual doodle. Look at this, this is nice. And it also comes with a parts schematic. We saw that. And look 1970 parts catalog free. Bruce, all I have to do is fill in the postage pre free card and mail it. And it goes right to the Williams Electronics Incorporated Corporation. 
in Chicago. That toddling town. I'm gonna send this in. <laughs> I hope I get fast. I hope I get the manual. There's a couple store core cards here. Whoever gets the game gets this. I suspect by the time you watch this video, it'll be sold. Uh, but anyway, I think I think it's going to be a good deal for someone. Don't you, Bruce? It's in decent shape. Doesn't need it needs some tweaking, but it needs it's in some decent tweaking, shape. But it is rough. Good cleaning. It's doodling. And guess what? Bruce fixed it in five minutes. Another fellow, Jimmy, who's really a great mechanic, he spent ninety minutes on it and couldn't get it working. Bruce said, let me have a go at it. And five minutes later, and guess what? I'm going to reward him. I'm going to stuff him at Daddy Pops tonight. Daddy Pops? No, not Daddy Pops. I'm Applebee's. <laughs> I got Daddy Pops with my mind. Thanks for watching.